My name is Winston Chow. I am currently an associate professor here at Singapore Management University School of Social Science. I am apparently a climate expert. Weather and climate, one is short term, the other is long term. So weather is just the day-to-day -day variation of how the atmosphere is. If you want to think of a comparison, weather is your mood and climate is your personality. Extreme weather is as its name suggests, it's not normal weather. It's something out of the ordinary. Take for instance, a couple of months back, there was a period where there was almost no rain. That's a dry spell or meteorological drought, and that is considered to be out of the ordinary as an extreme. It's because we are located near the equator, so it can be really hot one day because the sun is almost overhead all the time. Not really. There are some places that are heating up faster. If you head towards the poles, the Arctic or the Antarctic, it is heating faster, about 3 or 4 degrees warmer than what the rest of the world is heating up by. It is warmer today compared to 10 years ago by about 0.2 to 0.3 degrees Celsius. Singapore is urbanizing very fast. So when you have all your buildings, all your roads and you know, your concrete and your asphalt, they trap and retain heat better than your tropical rainforest. Uh, I think it's a combination of one is PUB has done a very significant job in reducing the flood prone areas from 1978 until today. So I think it's less than 50 hectares of uh, land in Singapore that is right now considered flood prone compared to hundreds of hectares previously. Uh, people are expecting that when it rains heavily like in the 1970s in the monsoon floods that it will be considered normal. Now it's not normal to have floods in Singapore. So it's a normal barricade of sorts to stop uh, water from coming into your, their property, their homes or their shop houses. It helps not with the overall temperature of Singapore, but it helps with the immediate microenvironment. We've done research into this, we found that one of the best ways to make people feel more comfortable in Singapore is to have more wind or less humidity and also shading. I hope not. <laughs> and it is highly unlikely that that's the case. Because I think the best climate models that have uh, looked into sea level rise indicate that the rate in which your average sea level will increase from now until the next 50 or 100 years won't be sufficient to submerge Singapore. Earlier this year, PM Lee said they're going to treat climate change like an existential threat. The government has uh, proposed a large amount of money, $100 billion, towards adapting to climate risks such as sea level rise. So they are looking at initiatives like hard infrastructures like sea walls or polders, or they are looking at nature-based solutions like our coastal mangroves, whether they can be expanded. You can take less overseas trips because one of the biggest personal emissions of uh, carbon is to take uh, airplane flights on a frequent basis. Use less plastic bags, use less straws, metal straws. Use it regularly. You can't just use this only once and keep it. Eat less red meats because raising beef is actually a very carbon intensive industry. So the idea is be aware of your own personal carbon emissions.